Hey guys, Andrew I'm here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and this is the final installment of the Explosives Plus mod review, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything else that I haven't covered within the previous episode, so the Predator Missile, Elephant Gun, Stealth Bomber, AC-130, Valkyrie Missile, Stick of Dynamite, Suicide Vest, and Mind Control Helmet, and as well, there's one more thing that I'm going to be covering at the very end of the video, which is kind of like the cream de la crop of uh, the mod itself, so yeah, um, be sure to stick around until the very end, but uh, Anyways, um, so the Predator Missile here that I have in my inventory, all you have to do is right click and hold and you see a little red bar pop up on screen here and then uh, when you see that it's not moving anymore, you can just let go and wherever you are targeting, it will drop a Predator Missile right onto the spot. So if I, want, if I wanted to drop one onto my over there, there we go, it works perfectly. Um, yeah, so the Elephant Gun, basically, it's a right click explosion, that's all it is and then you get, wait, what are you, what are you, what are you doing here? Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, I, I've, I've just caused very bad things, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that there for now, but yeah, so basically, you right click, and it's an explosion, that's pretty much it, and then you get a little, uh, you get a little thunder effect as well, so if I want to completely demolish every single mob in this mob spawner, yeah, that, that would, that, that was hard, like, that was really difficult, <laughs> so anyways, uh, the stealth bomber is basically what you do is you can, you select, uh, two points, so as you can see, I accidentally, the first point over here, but if I want to, and I'm gonna fly up into the air for the second point, I can, uh, go ahead and I'll right click, let's just say right there, and then, uh, between the two points, uh, well, I didn't actually see it on screen here, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give that one more try, but usually, uh, if you look at the right spot at the right time, you will be able to see the little stealth bomber flying overhead. So, let's see, there he is, you can see him right there, he's apparently flying backwards, because apparently that's how stealth bombers fly. But uh, as the stealth bomber flies around the, uh, you know, between the two points that you set, it will periodically set down a whole massive metric ton of TNT along the way, and it will instantly turn my peaceful map into something that is no longer familiar looking. Um, with the exception of the end portal over here, which I think still works, yeah, it Looks like it blew up a little bit of it, but not quite all of it. I think it's just the water that kind of interrupted that. But uh, anyways, the AC-130. AC-130 standing by. Repeat. AC-130 standing by. Yeah. Um, so as soon as you have the AC-130 in your hand, basically what you do is you set three... I think it's like three points or something. You right-click over here, over here, and over here. Oh, okay. So I was too far away. So that's... Uh, uh, looks like those are the three points. Okay, and then I set a fourth one here. And then you right click and by by default the weapon that you have in your inventory is the most powerful one But it takes the longest amount of time to recharge and every time you hear that sort of little audio clip there That's when it's recharged But if you hit Z you'll zoom in a little bit and then you'll have a round that recharges just a little bit faster So as you can see here, it's re it's going a little bit faster and then if I press Z again uh, You have like a rapid-fire gun, but this is the weakest weapon by far But in my opinion, it's most definitely the funnest one that you can use um, with this because like it's just kind of boring to just wait You know that long for you know all of the amount of recharges that you need you know when you're in totally zoomed out even though it does the most amount of damage it's just like eh eh and and then when you uh, want to exit out like if for example like if you're bored with the path you don't want to be in the plane anymore just go ahead and hit enter and it you will exit out of the AC 130 and be able to go about your day um so be sure that you hit the enter button if you want to exit out of it don't like start hitting random keys because um, the AC-130 does glitch every now and then, like, uh, basically, as you can see here, let me go ahead and let me set three more, uh, four more points here. You, you can kind of see the, uh, the little heads-up display that's here. Oh, whoa, that's kind of weird. Uh, apparently, maybe you can target people on multiplayer servers? That would be, that would be kind of neat. Yeah, yeah, own myself. <laughs> so, that would be kind of neat. Oh, crap, I think I killed myself. Okay, well... Actually, maybe not. I don't know. That was kind of weird. But yeah, so um, that would be interesting. But anyways, so yeah, it can be a little bit glitchy if you try and exit out of it, uh, you know, like abruptly if you don't use the enter key and then you can be stuck with that heads up display and or zoomed in. So just be sure you hit the enter key when you want to exit out of it or wait for the entire run to finish. So anyways, uh, this next one here is the Valkyrie missile and this one's pretty self-explanatory. You fire and you get a first person point of view of the rocket itself and if you want to speed up where it's going, you just uh, right click click here and it will start going really 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 fast and it's really hard to control and yeah yeah okay that works <laughs> let's go ahead and let's send this thing um after yeah there we go so the explosion is not too too big unless i'm just too far away to see the update uh, let's go ahead and let's see here yeah it doesn't appear to be update uh, updating the show as if it did that much 
does a fair amount of damage to the wood, but uh, overall this is really not that ex not all that exciting of an explosive. Uh, the next one is the stick of dynamite, and this one is just exactly what you would think. You just throw the dynamite down, and it will do destruction. And if you throw a whole bunch of them down at once, you can see like they kind of fling each other around, very similar to the way that like you could fling sand around. Um, speaking of sand, I probably could go to a beach here and like fling a whole bunch of sand around. Let's go ahead and let's give this a try. Yeah, see, there was that one piece of sand that kind of flew around there. Let's try this. Yeah, there we go. So, you could probably do a much better job of flinging the sand around if you really wanted to. And I know that, like, using these nukes, you can get these things to fly around much better. But, yeah, definitely tons and tons and tons of fun. So, the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is the suicide vest. Now, this one is a whole lot of fun because uh, it's kind of like my favorite weapon to use against cows. If I type in, like, uh, spawn cow 20 here... Um, yeah, so they all get hurt there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click on just about every single one I think I'll right click on like all but let's just say that one, you know Or at least I'll try and like make sure that one or two or three lives or something like that I don't know why I'd want any of them to live But uh, anyway, so as you can see here with the suicide vest on oh and by the way something I probably should mention Is that uh, if you go into uh, if you go into survival mode, you can actually wear the suicide vest yourself uh, Don't it be kind of counterproductive, but I thought I'd note that you can do that anyways And then all you have to do oh crap. I hate that noise uh, But yeah, so all you have to do is uh, when you want to set it off You don't just right click you have to hold shift So you're gonna be shifting and then you right click and and by the way, uh, any C4, any other explosive you have set down, I think it's just C4 it does this with. It'll also set that off as well. So, <laughs> now you see me, now you don't. And yeah, I got that one cow to live. Um, and the reason why I wanted that one cow to live is because of the mind control helmet, which is the very last item that I'm going to be showing you guys for the Explosives Plus mod. So if I go ahead and I right click on the cow here, and I'll go into F5 mode specifically, I am now the cow. And it's a little bit wonky in the way that it sort of runs around here. Um... Yeah, like, you can you can see, like, if you're walking forward, you'll kind of do this weird sidestepping thing, and you kind of have to be, like, really careful about it. And then if I go ahead and I right-click here, it'll- the cow will commit suicide. You- he, he'll- he'll just commit suicide. And, yeah, if I left-click, it'll start tearing out blocks that are underneath me, kind of useless. But, uh, yeah, could be fun. Um, let me try and blow up myself here. You're gonna die, Ant Venom. That's apparently what the voice of a sheep sounds like. <laughs> so anyways, uh, now for the cream de la crop of the mod, or at least my favorite part. It's not necessarily like the most powerful weapon or anything like that, but it's certainly one of the most interesting. Uh, so with single player commands anyways, if you type in the command spawn list, you'll notice that there are a whole bunch of things that can be spawned here. Suicide bomb, nuclear creeper. Yes, uh, if you enable this in your mod settings, uh, in the configuration for this mod, you can spawn nuclear creepers. So I'm going to type in spawn 66, and yeah, <laughs> nuclear creeper. Oh god, I just mind controlled a nuclear creeper. <laughs> uh, oh, and by the way, the uh, explosions that these guys do um, when you have them mind controlled is always the same. So let me just go ahead and let me spawn another nuclear creeper here. Let me see if I can... Oh god, wait. What just happened? I'm so confused. Um... Okay, so I put the suicide vest on him and he turned into a regular creeper. Okay, so that kind of seems like a glitch. Um, oh, let me get out of F5 mode here. Yeah, so I right-clicked on him and he went like regular creeper mode and then I blew him up. But anyway, so what I, what I want to be showing you guys is exactly how much damage these guys do. So as you can see here, oh, come on creeper, don't go into the water. And of course it starts raining. Um, great. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the rain off here, and what I'm gonna do very, very quickly, I'm gonna allow him a path to me, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set, uh, my creative mode on and off, or set it off and on, so he'll be, yeah, he'll be determined to come at me, and what he'll do is he'll fizz for about a quarter of a second, and then he will blow up right away. So it does a pretty decent, si decently sized explosion, uh, if I go ahead, let me try and head off into a regular area here. Um, let me spawn one more. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm going to very quickly do this again. <laughs> and he will launch me, too. And I'm pretty sure that is most definitely a one-shot kill. Uh, I don't want to find out. But, yeah, probably a one-shot kill. And uh, something else that's interesting as well. Let me go ahead and let me uh, turn the rain on for this one. I'm going to spawn myself one of these. Actually, let me do, like, two or something like that just for the fun of it. And I'm going to type in weather lightning. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's have some fun. 
<laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the explosion for the lightning nuclear creeper is really, really big. And by the way, if you do manage to kill a nuclear creeper, um, however unlikely that is, they will drop regular nukes for you. So yeah, you can have a lot of fun with those. So I guess that is the replacement for sulfur for these guys. Um... So, yeah, um, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show off for this mod. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I've missed. I'm not really 100% sure. I think, uh, like, my gut feeling says there is something that I have missed, but I think what it actually was was that, uh, the fact that nuclear creepers drop nukes when you kill them. So, yeah, I think I, I actually do think I've covered everything. I don't think I've missed anything. If I have missed anything, I'm going to include it in the description below, like a little text thing saying what I missed. So be sure to check out there, um, especially if you know that I missed something. Um, be sure to comment and see if, like, you know, I missed anything, you know, like... Be sure to com or be sure to check the description before commenting to see if I missed anything. But uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video today. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this complete showcase of this entire mod. Uh, my name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Yeah, and that's how quickly I can make a mountain disappear. And thanks so much for watching.